Well, this business of sky riding is simple enough. But of course, there's a knack to it, same as anything else. Some folks learn quickly, and some have to give up after years of trying. I suppose there's only about a dozen smoke riders in the country. Mechanically, it's not so complicated. Step up here and I'll show you. See this little trigger here? Well, that's a part of the pen we write with. When the trigger is pulled back, it opens a valve which permits chemicals to shoot out into the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe, being just about red hot, heats up the chemicals and makes the smoke you see from the ground. The tanks in the cockpit have to carry about 400 pounds of smoke oil. When we have to write long sentences, we use two planes. In our team, we have three planes working together. Well, we're off. Switch off. Switch off. Contact. Contact. Of course, it's all in the viewpoint. The planes must be light and fast, so they can be easily maneuvered. They've got to be quick on the climb. About two miles up, most of the riding is done. At that height, the wind is steady. In a gentle breeze, Words will drift 10 or 20 miles before they break up. And the writing is done horizontally, the way you'd write on a desk, and not up and down as it appears from the ground. To make it trickier, they have to write backwards or upside down. Depends on how you look at it. So it will be right side up to you on the ground. When he writes it, this is the way it looks to the sky rider. And this is what happens when three smoke riders go into action at once. They've got to give each other elbow room. But then, it's a pretty big slate. Phew! Looked like a collision that time. Had to be mighty close timing on that one. But when you get around under it, it begins to make sense. To make it a little bit easier, they have the words already written out, upside down, on the instrument board. But They've also got to keep their eyes on all those dials and instruments and smoke gauges while they're using the sky as their billboard. And smoke riding's got to be done right the first time. No erasing up here in the air. They've got to travel fast. Even a short word means a 15 to 20 mile trip. And it's nothing to turn around and go back two or three miles to cross your team. To stand the terrific strain of turning and twisting, the planes have to be strong, yet capable of a cruising speed of over 120 miles an hour. Skywriting must be done into the wind, so the letters won't spread too much. And out of the sun, so folks watching won't have the glare in their eyes.
these chaps had to do about all the stunts known to aviation to make all those little turns and twists. Vertical banks. And Dimmelman turns. That calls for pretty good pilots and sharp eyes to follow them. But when the weather is right and they've finished a good job, the smoke riders get a big thrill and enough satisfaction to make up for all the duds and floaters that result from wind and clouds. A human bumblebee buzzes across the sky. A million cubic feet of smoke left hanging in the blue each minute like a long white rope. But remember, there are a lot of people looking over your shoulder, so don't start writing love letters in the sky. <laughs> 